Hello guys, this is Anish Rigi with another tutorial and this is on how to make a time lapse effect and oh, why isn't it? Oh, okay, so if I hit play it you see it. It was suggested by someone and it got a few thumbs up so I'll make the tutorial. Uh, okay mm, so let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so let's go. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, get a physical sky, and this increases the render time. So I suggest be careful with it. Um, but it's a very good render, trust me. It it's amazing. But I'll get to lighting later. A better lighting tutorial later. So find the sun. Find the sun, which is over there. Now find the direction it rises up. So. Let's put this to 9. Uh, time and location change it to 9. So it's traveling this direction. So we want to set our camera here and the sun will go like this. So now change it to 0 and go to this time thing and hold control and click on this button over here. And it should add a keyframe wherever your thing is. And then you just move it to the 90th frame or whatever end frame you want the time lapse to be and then set this to like 23 press enter and if you put it to 24 that's basically the same time and nothing happens so uh, now hold control and click on the same thing uh, same button and it should add another keyframe and yeah and now you see it's going through like that so now let's get to the settings if you want, a cl if you want clouds uh, just click on this but the bad thing about clouds is I don't know how to make them move. But you can change the settings here. I'm not sure. You can change this, the height and stuff over here. But I guess it doesn't move, so it kind of looks weird and, and time lapses. So I suggest not putting it. And there is a moon, but I can't really find it. You got to find it by yourself. <laughs> Uh, but it's there. It says show moon and it's ticked. So, uh, so let's change the sun settings. If you change the int um, intensity, of course it'll increase the intensity. And in let's make this 200% because it looks more realistic. Then click on this and change it to like 50. Now 30. And now if you render, it gives out like a lens flare like a normal sun I guess uh, and then when you render it uh, it should give you this time lapse sort of look and of course you can change this to whatever frame you want if you're a complete noob no I got this comment saying what is cinema 4d r13 <laughs> some people oh my god Never mind. Um, I guess that's too noobish to answer, so he'll learn on his own what it is. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching. I'll put the tutorial for my walk cycle thingy soon. Uh, and bye. Mm -hmm.